Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm live. I, I have a haul video for you today. I went to Goodwill uh, for the $1 sale. I haven't gone sourcing in almost a month. So I was very excited to get some stuff today because I'm completely out of things to list um, and I'm ready to like get back into things. So I have the chat pulled up. Hold on. There we go. Um, and I'm gonna wait just a minute here and see if anyone pops up in the chat. So it's Super Bowl Sunday and I'm so excited. Um, we're having some people over tonight. That's why like, I pulled this couch into the living room. It isn't normally here. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited. Dalton made pulled pork and it's in the crock pot and it smells so good and I wanna eat it so bad. Um, but anyways, who do you guys want to win? I don't really care. <laughs> Um, I just watched the Super Bowl just to watch because I feel like it's what people do. Um, but honestly, like, the Patriots have gone to the Super Bowl every year for, like, five years, it seems like. I don't know. So I kind of want to see them lose. <laughs> um, but anyways, okay. So let's go ahead and get into the haul. Um, I got, where is it? I got 36 items and I spent... $41.65. If you guys can see that. Um, so everything I got was a dollar besides one thing I paid full price for. Um, so that's really good. I've started looking in new areas at my Goodwill. Um, I just discovered, hey Wade, what's up? Um, I just like realized there's a whole blazer section um, for women and every time I've gone back there I found some good stuff and also I've been looking in the coats because um, I can get coats for a dollar so I got a couple things from there too the actual the coats are right on top so I'll show you guys that first so this first one is it has a dry cleaning tag on it but um, it's from Banana Republic and it is like a women's it's like a dress coat. I don't know what you would call it. Um, it's like longer, but it's like that thicker. It's not a trench coat. Um, it's like a thicker kind of wooly material. So I got that one. And then I also got this is, well, it's in the coat section. It's not really a coat though. It's a Carhartt like vest. It looks small. It's kind of like a men's small, but um, it's a medium. Surprisingly, but anyways, Carhartt does pretty well, and Carhartt's usually like pretty expensive. So I only paid a dollar for each of those, so that was good. And then I picked up a few skirts. Um, nothing like really super special, um, but Liz Claiborne I've had good luck with, and this one was like a little bit different. I think it's kind of pretty. Um, so it's Liz Claiborne. It's like a blue and green tweed skirt and then I got this is also Liz Claiborne um and it's just solid green I thought this was pretty for spring and also since it's a larger size it's a 16 I think it'll do well too so oh the last skirt I got um I got because again it's a larger size it's a 16 and I thought it was really pretty has this black and white like pattern on it um, and it's Worthington I don't really pick up Worthington at all but I thought it was cute okay so and then the blazers I was telling you guys about so I got two J crew and two from Tahari so this first J crew one is just like a blue like a navy blue pinstripe blazer and then I got this solid this one's like a lighter blue again I thought this was a good color for spring people are going to be shopping for spring um soon if not already so that one and then this one from Tahari is just like a brown color and then another Tahari one this one's like black and white but yeah so I got those, 
And then I only got one dress. Usually I have more luck in the dress section, but I only found one today. Um, and it's really not anything special. It's just from Candies. But I thought it was so pretty. It has this like bright um, like floral pattern on it. Hey, Vault Girl, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, again, I thought it was really good for spring. So probably like a $10 or $12 item. But I really wanted to get a good amount of volume today. Like I said, um, I don't have anything to list. And the amount listed in my store keeps going down every day. And I want my store to get bigger. So I just wanted to get a lot of volume today. So I picked up some things that I might not normally pick up. But they were just a dollar. So, okay. Next is, this is a J. Crew. Um, it's linen. It's like a... I don't know, it's like a knit top. It's not really a sweater. How much do I have in my store now? I have just under 400 listings. Um, I was like to 450. Sorry, Bella's like digging in the clothes. Um, I was to about like 450 like in December and now it, it's gone down. So, um, yep, J. Crew. That'll go on Poshmark. Um, pretty much everything will go on to eBay and Mercari besides like the J. Crew. Um, well, other, I don't think I have anything else here that I'll put on Poshmark, but I've been having really good luck with Mercari lately, so, and I like to put the cheaper items on there because, um, there's only a 10% selling fee, so I feel like I get a higher profit on those lower dollar items, if that makes any sense. So anyways, this top, I think this is so cute, and it looks like, like, brand new, seriously. I don't think it's ever been worn or washed. Um, American Eagle, which I don't pick up all the time, but I thought this was really cute. And then this, okay, so I have never picked up this brand before. I see it occasionally, and um, I know it's sold at Nordstrom, I'm pretty sure. Not like Nordstrom Rack, um, but it's Casper, and I thought it was really pretty. So I figured I would try out the brand and see how it does. Vault Girl's asking if I do free shipping on Mercari. I don't. I charge for shipping. Um, and it's, I feel like shipping on Mercari is really easy because you just tell it what weight it is and then like it automatically does everything for you, which is really nice. Um, Wade says he's on Posh and eBay, but he needs to try out the other. I really like Mercari. Um, there are some things that I don't like about it. Like, you can only use four pictures, um, and I always take, like, eight or ten. So that's kind of annoying. But other than that, like, I had a good experience on there so far. So um, probably better than Poshmark, to be honest. Okay, so this is 89th and Madison, which I don't know if I've ever picked this up before. Um, but I thought it was cute. It's just like a navy blue um, top that the front is all lace. And then, what's this one? Oh, loft. I was able to get a lot of loft items today. Sorry, you guys can hear my dog playing with her squeaker toys. Um, I was able to get a lot of loft items today, which I was really excited about. I love selling loft. I know a lot of people don't, but I do. I actually move a good quantity of it. And... Um, since I haven't been listing, my store has been, like, depleted of all my loft items. So, this one I thought was cute. It's just another, like, lacy top, short sleeve. This one is Ann Taylor. Again, a nice pattern for spring and summer. And this one, another loft item. It is just a little cowl neck sweater. Wade wants to see my dog. <laughs> Bella, come here. Come here. Come on. Good girl. Okay. This is Bella. She is my little chihuahua. I love her so much. She's like actually my child. Okay, so. Um, I picked up a Hollister item, which uh, I don't think I've ever 
Um, I've maybe picked up like one or two hottest items before, but usually I stay away from it. But there was something about this where I just thought it was going to do well. Um, it's just like a basic striped shirt, but there's that. And then, okay, so this is by New York and Company. I picked up a lot of this today as well. Um, I pick this up occasionally if I think it's a cute style and it's under a dollar. I always list these for like $11.99, $12.99, and they usually go for full price. So that one I thought was cute. Again, spring and summer. So this one, again, uh, I don't pick up a lot of Ralph Lauren, but a nice floral pattern. French laundry. I don't see this very often. Um, and I don't always pick it up when I see it. But again, it's pretty cute. Good things for spring and summer. This is another Ann Taylor item. It is a cardigan that's like open front and it's like drapey. I don't know if that's the word to use, but anyways. So here is another New York and Company. Nice bold pattern on it that I thought was good. Again, $11, $12 for that. Another New York and Company. Just a nice blouse. Good color for spring. Probably $11 on that one. Maurice's. I don't pick up Maurice's very often. Um, I've had, like, decent luck with it. But, you know. This is probably, like, $12, $13. Okay, so I picked this up. I'm pretty sure I see this brand a lot on Instagram. It's Bar 3, um, which I think is sold at Nordstrom, if I'm correct. But anyways, it's just this little white top. It kind of has like a peplum on it, but pretty much just in the back and the sides. It has a spot on it, like this little tiny pink spot, but it looks like it's going to come off in the wash. So I actually need to wash... Um, all of this and I think it'll come out um, but if not I figured I would try out the brand because it was only a dollar oh so I was excited to find this because um, I've heard a lot of people talk about this brand and I've seen it a couple times but it's always been in like horrible condition so I've never been able to pick it up but it's logo by Lori Goldstein yeah Lori Goldstein this is just a black cardigan, um, and it has some pockets on the front, but yeah, I'm excited to get this brand and try it out. I think this is one that will go on Poshmark. I have to double check, but that one will get cross-posted, I think. Okay, so this item, I don't know about this brand. When I saw the tag, I thought it might be Anthropology, but it's not. Um... If anyone knows, let me know in the comments, but I think the brand is Red Butterflies. But I can't figure out, like, what that first thing is. It might be, like, an and sign. I have no idea. But I just bought this because of the style. Is this going to be hard to see? Kind of. Um, so, it's just, like, a wrap sweater. Like, it wraps in the front and in the back. Um, and this style I see all over Instagram. It's really in right now. So um, it was only a dollar. So I decided to pick it up. Vault Girl saying she found her first logo item a couple weeks ago. Sold full price $30 on Poshmark within 24 hours. That is awesome. Cool. So yeah, I'll definitely put that one on Poshmark. Cool. Okay. Um, this is another cardigan. This is from Calvin Klein. It's 100% merino wool. It was in the women's section, but when I look at it, like, it could be men's, you know? Like, because it's kind of plain, but I feel like it's small for a men's large. I think it's women's. I don't know, but how do you know? Like, it's literally just, like, a plain cardigan, nothing on it. So, I don't know. Maybe if there's, like, an RN number or a style number, I'll be able to look it up and figure it out. Because otherwise... 
I don't know. I'll probably just list it as women's and see what happens. Okay. So, okay. Here's another Casper item. Um, I got a couple. Hi, Shannon. Thanks for tuning in. Um, I think this is the only other Casper item I got. And it's just this little polka dot blouse that I thought was cute. So I'll get these listed and I'll see how they do. I mean, they have cute stuff. I have a dress by Casper. Um, I got it at Burlington Co. Factory, though, so I don't know. Okay, another loft item. This is just like a... What's going on there? Um, okay, sorry. I'll just fix it later. Um, <laughs> it is just like a little lace tank top, so probably $11 for that one. Um, I picked up another item by Candies. Just because I thought the colors were really good for spring. Um, probably a $10 item, but it was cute. Okay, so we're getting down to the end. Um, I picked up a few pair of pants. These J. Crew matchsticks, these do pretty well. Um, and it was a dollar. I was really surprised. Usually the jeans are the most picked over in my store. Um, and I can't find much, but I found a couple good things today. So, J. Crew Matchstick in like awesome condition. They're a good light wash. So there's that. And then I found these American Eagle. American Eagles always go first. So I was really surprised to find these. And they're like a super stretch skinny, which I think will do pretty well. They're like a dark gray wash. So those will probably get listed for 15. And the J. Crew will probably listed for like 17, 18 plus shipping. And then these are the last pair of pants I got. They are by Loft again. And they're just like a khaki, like a green khaki pants. Hi, Rita. Thanks for watching. It is afternoon here in Michigan. It's 3 o'clock. Um, they're a straight leg. I think the style is Anne. Anyways, so we'll see. They were just in good condition, and I feel like people wear this kind of stuff in the spring. So, Okay, this is the last item, which I'm so excited about. Um, and if there are any Lululemon experts in the chat <laughs> or watching, I need your help. Okay, so it's just a tank top. Um, Lululemon, there's the little logo, but my problem is I can't find a tag anywhere inside. So how do I figure out what size it is? <laughs> Because there's like literally no tag. Um, I mean, it looks like a small probably, but I think their sizes might go by numbers like two, four, six. So if anyone knows, let me know. Um, the inside lining has like all these words on it. Size isn't in the bra. Where in the bra would it be though? That's the problem. Like I'm looking underneath and everything. I don't see any numbers or anything. Size dots, usually in the cups. There's a spot to put a cup. Oh, four, thank you. <laughs> yeah, okay, so here's mine. It's like right in this little pocket where you would slide like the little padding. So it's a size four. Thank you, you guys are awesome. Cool. So now I just need to figure out what style it is. Thank you guys. So I paid $4.29 for this. Um, and I was so excited to find it. I've only found Lululemon a couple times, um, like three times, and two times have been at my local Goodwill, which I find really surprising um, because it just doesn't seem like a place where you would find it. So Thank you guys so much for helping me. I have another Lululemon item that I don't know if it's real or not. I'm going to post it on Instagram and see what everyone says. I think it might, it's a men's item and I'm like less familiar with men's. So I need to figure that out. 
So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you so much for helping. I would have never found that size <laughs> if you guys didn't tell me. So um, that is it. Let's see. I got... 36 items, so if I have an average profit of $10 an item, $360 profit. That's my goal whenever I source is to get $10 profit items, even though a lot of times I only get $10 items and I probably have like a $7 profit, um, it usually averages out to about $10 a piece. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'm going to be back tomorrow with another live stream showing you guys everything that has sold over the past week. I've had like surprisingly good sales considering I haven't been listening. Um, so stay tuned for that. Make sure you're subscribed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being active in the chat. I love when you guys are in the live chat. It makes me really happy. So <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Bye.